Well, he was a former Memphis Tiger, a musician and a minister. And tonight, people in the Mid-South and the nation are remembering John Kelzer. The 62-year-old was out of state when he died. Local 24 News anchor Rudy Williams joins us in the studio with a look back at his life. Rudy? Well, Katina, there are certain things you can count on to bring people together. The Jackson, Tennessee native used the magic of music not only to entertain, but to transform lives along the journey to substance addiction recovery. That's John Kilzer's 2016 Social Justice Anthem with Kirk Whalem, recorded at Memphis's Archer Studios. Over Facebook, Whalem asked for prayers as he grieved Kilzer, whom he called a dear friend. And Congressman Steve Cohen of Memphis spoke of Kilzer's resilience from the House floor of the U.S. Capitol today. He was the epitome of what Memphis is about. Cohen also describing the former Memphis Tiger basketball player as the person who didn't let his addiction to alcohol, which started at a young age, keep him down. Though not the best baller, he traded his comp game tickets to learn guitar from the best, Tinny Hodges, laying the groundwork for two recorded albums on the Geffen record label and earning a spot on Billboard charts in 1988. It would be his work helping others fighting addiction that impacted the community. He attended seminary and became a minister at Midtown St. John United Methodist, where he led a weekly recovery service. He will live on through his legacy with his music and with, you know, the way on Friday nights and everything else that he was um, a part of that, um, you know, even though it was him that, that has passed now, um, he, he left that for people. So that he kind of gave that to them. Well, it's somewhat fitting, his biggest hit is called Making of a Memory. Kilzer had celebrated the release of a new album at Crosstown Concourse and was set to play with his band, The Scars, at Bill Street Music Festival in May. In the studio tonight, I'm Rudy Williams, Local 24 News.